It's finally time. It's finally time for the first Fan Fridays of Pokemon Sun Moon. I am super excited to see what kind of craziness we are going to be getting. But look how pretty this looks. Nice soothing blue color. We get to see the pictures. We get a really nice team layout right there. And check this out. The battle code is on screen. Everything about this is so nice. I think it's very fitting that the first Fan Fridays is also going to be with Snorlax. So let's see what kind of crazy combo we can work. The Come face Snorlax. That seems very powerful. Right. You also have those intros. So you can set up the intros and that's gonna be pretty good and then come face Snorlax oh my goodness I am a little overwhelmed right now by how amazing all of this looks so Marowak and Gyarados gonna be on the field and the opponent hacking is oh my goodness it doesn't get any better than this like this is the perfect start to Van Fries the opponent has a hacked team we're gonna be doing some kind of crazy Snorlax combo it's perfect so there we go Gyarados gonna use the Dragon Dance and Dragon Dance is going to kind of set up for that Gyarados, but we're going to see if our setup turns out to be a little better. All right, Marowak just going straight for that Earthquake as well. Like, Comfey, no, no triage right there. And then Snorlax just going to take that hit. All right, Snorlax just survives it and uses, goes for the Belly Drum anyway. That's kind of crazy. Taking that risk, either understanding maybe there's a Protect, maybe there's some kind of setup, and then that will be into Citrus Berry. Our, oh, Figgy Berry! We're already seeing it! We are already seeing it, and then Komfei has the Trick Room set up. Like I said, the Figgy Berry is going to change everything. So I have Trick Room Snorlax, more health off of that berry, because not just Citrus Berry, it's going to heal up even more. So understanding, hey, if I take a hit and I use Belly Drum, I'm going to need that 50% more. And then remember, we still have the priority coming out of Komfei into the Synthesis. So Komfei is healing itself up this turn. Snorlax knows it's just going to score a KO. Like, Snorlax can crunch the Marowak or body slam the Gyarados or just use Rock Slide. Is that going to take out both of it? Oh my goodness. That's, oh my goodness. That looks so good. Now, that didn't take out the Gyarados. So I'm guessing max hit point, max something invested on the Snorlax. The Gyarados still not going to have a lot to do against the Snorlax. Good hit after the Dragon Dance. All right. And now Decidueye comes in. But, yo, we... We got the healing going on. That that Comfey just gets to go and use that floral healing. Also, I like the I love the camera angle now. Oh my goodness, everything is just so good. Everything is just so good. Like it, it makes sense watching watching these battles play out. So there goes the sucker punch. Gonna hit Snorlax. Snorlax still getting that rock slide down. Man, that Gyarados is tanky. Gyarados goes down though. Decidueye takes the hit. Was it a natural survival? Is that a focus ash? Oh, natural su survival. Not bad. And in comes the Slazzle, and there's, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, for anyone that's like, oh, the opponent could have legitimately gotten four shiny Pokemon and the competitive shiny female Solandit in, you know, two weeks of the game being out. This is why I'm so confident in my calls when the opponent's hacking, and then you just straight up return. So, man, there's the Focus Sash. Doesn't matter. I am, everything about this is just ridiculous, so... Comfe will take up the hit, super effective hit, but that split damage not gonna be enough for the Slazzle to do much about it. In comes the draining kiss. We just saw like the Comfe priority just grab bag right there. I guess the best way of putting it. We went into the synthesis, in the floral healing, and then when we need the damage, screw it. Plus three draining kiss. Deal with that. And that is going to be the end of the first battle. So let's go and into another. Let's go straight into another battle. This is this is something else right now. And let's get into the next battle. So I'm just trying to figure out the success ratio of just going and throwing out the Snorlax into the Belly Drum. Like, that Figgy Berry does give you the safety, but if you get doubled up on, that could be pretty bad. But I guess people are understanding, hey, maybe we want to take care of the Comfey too, because Comfey is a support that you cannot ignore. As I believe I mentioned that in my uh, Fan Fridays guide as well. So we're going to see what the opponent goes and throws out the Tapu Koko and the Weavile. Alright. That's... That's some power right there. Depends on who Weavile wants to shut down with that fake out potentially. And then Tapu Koko is just going to do his own little thing. So here we go. Weavile is going to fake out on to the Snorlax. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's like, and then the Snor Thunderbolt. Yeah, the Snorlax getting tag teamed, but it's way too tanky to care. And then Konfei going to get its Trick Room anyways. I think after you see that much health go down, you can, you can take that. Like Snorlax. It's going to be able to get that belly drum, and then after the floral healing, it's not going to matter. Figgy Berry is going to come in, and then there's the Arcanine anyways. Arcanine has the Intimidate, so going to try to take down the stats of Snorlax. 
I don't, I don't think that was a big intentional thing. Seemed more like, oh, my Tapu Goku did nothing because Snorlax is a special defense tank. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe high amounts of hit point, defense invested on a careful nature or sassy nature because it's Trick Room. And there we go. There's the Belly Drum. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I just realized something. Yeah, that you don't have to cut down your EVs. And the Throat Chop on this... Throat Chop looks freaking brutal. Oh my goodness, this is everything about this. Like, I'm so happy for everything that's happening right now. It just looks absolutely fantastic. So, Vicky Berry hasn't activated yet. Um, normally on Belly Drum, you need to run, like, an even amount of hit points. That way your Citrus Berry heals you up. But with the Figgy Berry and Wiki Berry and all those kind of berry buffs, you, you can run that extra point of hit points, which is pretty nice. Extreme Speed, not gonna do anything. There's the Rock Slide. That's gonna be super effective. And, sit down, Arcanine. Weavile has that Focus Sash. And it looks like the game's already over. That's, that's, that's how I'm feeling about this one. Game seems to be pretty much done at this point. Weavile with the Assurance. Just going to tag Snorlax. Wow, that was actually a pretty big hit right there on that follow-up. And then we go into the Metagross. Alright, that could be a little bit problematic, but Metagross is just going to go for that Mega Evolution. It, even if it goes for Bullet Punch, Comfe is still going to out-heal. Comfe is threatened right now, though. It is a Steel- or it is a Fairy-type Pokemon against that Steel-type. But, I mean, if you just put everything on the Snorlax, it's just going to go fine. So let's watch how that plays out. Snorlax getting into that very high amount of hit points. Like the full healing plus Figgy and Wiki Berry. You're just going up to full. There's the crunch. And there goes Metagross. So it, it'll happen like that. I'm wondering if there's going to be an ins ins assurance or a throat chop or what. So throat chop, I guess just going for the good stab right there doesn't really affect Snorlax in any way. And then Tapu Koko's back out. So how much is that rock slide going to do Tapu Koko? Oh, the opponent just forfeits. Right, also I just married from that Gyarados, it's not taken super effective because of Megan, and that's why it survived last battle. Okay, let's go into the next one. I mean, this, I'm just gonna go and search it up right now because I wanna talk. Okay, so Fan Fridays. If you wanna be on Fan Fridays, go and submit a battle code. If you wanna submit a battle code, it's in the Festival Plaza now. That kinda surprised me, I was like, wait a second, where's the only other place you can connect to the internet and upload something? So via the Festival Plaza, there's a computer, and then there should be a way to interact with battle codes right there, and that's... Pretty awesome. So yeah, it looks like the crazy strategy is already beginning for Pokemon Sun and Moon. The idea on Fan Fridays is that I just want to show off some cool things and then maybe have them incorporate into movesets or videos later. So here we go. The Comface Snorlax already showing to be really, really good for the doubles. And let's see how it keeps on playing out once this uh, video ends up loading. And straight into the battle. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like, and then it's it's also really nice right now. Really nice right now because if anyone has a team of, sh of hacked Pokemon or shiny Pokemon, it's going to show off as hacked, and there's no defending that. So we, we get a lot of we get a lot of safety in our fan fries right now, and then we can see the Oranguru and the Wishy Washy. Oh, oh, we gonna see some combos. We gonna see some combos right now. So what is Oranguru going to do for the Wishy Washy and its schooling ability? So there's a rain dance. Just going to set the rain dance, give it to himself really quick. It doesn't. I don't even know Wishy Washy's ability. Oh, it has schooling. I was about to say it doesn't get the swift swim or anything. So setting rain. I guess going to try to maximize the damage. But I'm just going to give a free belly drum to the Snorlax and then Comfey. It's just going to do Comfey things. So there's a trick room, and we're going to see how much damage the Snorlax can turn around after all of the setup right here. Oh, what? Wait, what? I, I, wait, now I'm really confused. The Trick Room just canceled out, and Gofei's still gonna go for the Floral Healing, so, yeah, I'd imagine if you are using Wishy Washy School Form, you'd want to set your own Trick Room, because I don't think that Oranguru was going for the counter Trick Room. I, I think he was just expecting, like, standard healing, so, Psychic onto the Snorlax, Oranguru not showing su uh, super amount of damage. The Scald, though, Rain Boosted with that Stab, still not gonna be enough to super take down the Snorlax. Oh my goodness! It's a gluttony Snorlax. That's how we're getting the most out of our Figgy and Wiki Berry already. Okay. And then there goes the Rock Slide. Oranguru just goes down immediately. Okay. Now that changes things up because with the Figgy and Wiki Berry, I'd imagine you'd want to have it activate immediately after the Belly Drum then. If you're running the gluttony Snorlax. I was thinking maybe it still could have been like uh, Thick Fat. Because Thick Fat just extra amounts of damage absorption, which is really nice. But if you're doing that, then you want an even amount of hit points because that's going to drop you down to half and then that's going to cause it to activate. Also, a lot of people were saying that the Gluttony ability doesn't activate with Figgy and Wiki Berry, and I'm wrong. 
Uh, well, there we go. There's your proof right there. So, Mega Kangaskhan going for that fake out. It's like, no! Snorlax needs to get shut down now. Actually, the fake out doing a little bit of damage. That Kangaskhan nerf feels so good. And then there goes the Scald onto Snorlax. But Snorlax going to get flinched by that fake out. And then the Trick Room. Comfey is like, yeah, now's my time to shot. I need to help. You know, Comfey is like the most baller support when you think about it. Like, it, it understood the situation. It's like, I need to help Snorlax. Well, that, I, I did not get my voice in the right place at the right time for that one. But yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then there goes the belly drum, and Wishy Washy gets absolutely wrecked right there. So Kangaskhan with that double hit? No, that's not the one you want to be using. You want to be using, like, return or something. So hits, oh. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, is it going to keep hitting? Is it going to keep doing stuff? But no, in comes the Mimikyu. So I guess you just throw out like the rock slide or you drain and kiss to break the Mimikyu. That that works. Wow, the combos. Yeah. The the draining kiss, that plus three utility on the draining kiss is just showing to be massive right now. You get to outdo the priority. You get to do all kinds of really fun stuff. And then the rock slide from the Snorlax, that's enough to KO the Mimikyu. And Kangaskhan is down to its last little bit of hit points. And the rain's gonna stop. So Opponent forfeits. Looks like this just wins and forces people out. That's that's crazy. I love the strategy. Ends up working out. We didn't even get to see anything else. We just saw Comfe and Snorlax being absolute ballers, and then the battles were over just like that. Yeah. The only thing that was interesting was like the gluttony with the uneven amount of hit points. But I guess maybe that works out in its own way. But yeah, I love Gluttony Snorlax. You use Belly Drum and then you go back up to full health. And then you have like Trick Room and the Floral Healing and then the damage. It's just so good. So it's like the modified Sableye Belly Drum in the Sight variation. I guess that Comfey also has Aromatherapy as its last move. That way if, it, if Snorlax does get burned or incast status, nah, you just Aromatherapy and then everything will be fine. So hope you guys enjoyed the first Fan Fridays. And I hope you all get, yeah, I just screwed up the ending of the first Fan Fridays. Alright, hope to see you guys in the next one. It's going to be awesome.